Yes, it's your girl Mello and welcome back to my channel. So you're probably wondering why I'm standing here and soaking wet hair. Uh, it's because I wanted to show you guys my styling routine using, using all Shea Moisture products. What's a little bit special about today's video is in honor of Mother's Day, I'm not only going to be doing my hair using all Shea Moisture products, but I'm also going to be doing my 14 year old daughter's hair. Um, her hair is really long and it kind of has some wave to it. And I'm also going to be doing my two year old daughter's hair who has the cutest little bouncy ringlets that you've ever seen. They're just absolutely adorable. And um, I'm going to be using Shea Moisture products on all three of us so you can see how the Shea Moisture products work on three totally different hair types. So if you're interested, definitely keep watching. So the first Shea Moisture product that I use when I um, wash my hair is the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo. I use a lot of this, so you can see there's not that much left. Um, but what I love about this is for um, thick and curly hair and it's very moisturizing. Um, you can't really tell from the bottom because like I said, my hair is in transition. So this hair um, isn't as thick and curly as the hair on my scalp. Um, but uh, this is definitely great for really thick and curly hair. Um, it does give a nice lather to it, but it doesn't strip your hair of the natural oils that you need. Um, there is no sulfates, no parabens, no phthalates, alcohols, bad alcohols, minerals. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a Curly Girl approved product. I'm not 100% um, with the, you know, strict Curly Girl method rules, but I think that this is, um, it's, it's really, it's a really great pro product and it doesn't leave your hair feeling super dry when you shampoo with it. So I shampoo with this for the most part. Um, it also has protein in it, which is really great for my hair. You might want to be careful um, with proteins because some people's hair respond really well to protein, um, others not so much. You kind of need a balance um, of protein and moisture. Too much protein in your hair can make your hair really brittle. Um, too little protein can leave your hair kind of lifeless. So um, you definitely want to have a balance in your hair of protein and moisture. My hair absolutely loves protein treatments and I can definitely tell a difference um, when I have you know, enough protein in my hair. So this is a great shampoo. The next product that I usually want, um, condition my hair with is the Curl and Shine Conditioner. This um, works really well. It um, detangles my hair nicely, it leaves it nice and smooth, and also has the um, protein in it that my hair really craves. Um, these products also smell really good, so that's definitely a plus. So today I gave myself a protein treatment with the Manuka Honey and Yogurt Hydrate and Repair Protein Power Treatment. Now, um, Today, I just put this on after I shampooed and conditioned my hair. I kind of ran it through and let it um, use the steam from the shower to really work its way into my hair. I left it on for about five minutes, nothing too long today. Um, but sometimes when I really want to get a deep conditioning treatment and I really need that extra protein in my hair, I'll um, put this, apply this on my wet hair and put a shower cap on it, maybe wrap it up in a towel or something um, to hold the moisture in, I mean, I'm sorry, to add some heat to it and I'll leave it on for about 15 or 20 minutes um, and my hair is really soft after, it's really manageable. Um, and, and it definitely is a little bit more defined um, because it does have that protein in it and it also has a lot of moisture in it, like I said, which your hair needs a nice balance of both protein and moisture. So if you're looking for a really good deep conditioning treatment that has protein in it, I definitely suggest this one. So I showed you guys what I use to wash my hair today. Um, now I'm going to show you how I style my hair using the Shea Moisture products. Um, first, I'm going to, since I've been standing around with my hair wet, it started to dry a little bit and I like to make sure that I, um, that I have really wet hair when I apply my products. So I just go ahead and this is just some water with a little bit of a leave-in conditioner in it. I'm using the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie. 
This is a really popular um, curl product um, for all the curly girls out there. Um, a lot of um, you'll see a lot of girls on Instagram using this and on YouTube. And um, I really like the way that it works for my hair. My hair is really thick, um, thinner hair. Um, you know, more wavy hair. This might not work the best for that type of hair because it is kind of a heavy product. So how I use it is. Just take, it's really, really thick in consistency. See that? I use about, oh, that's a lot. Um, I use about that much to start out with. <laughs> and I just rub that in my palms. And I start at the root. I try not to rub it into my scalp because I don't want to create too much buildup. And then I use, I rake it through with my, with my fingers. And then I use the praying hands method to get it all the way down my hair. Make sure it's evenly distributed, just <laughs> making sure that it's evenly distributed. So I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna do the other side of my hair. Again, just raking it through and then going back over with the praying hands method. Sometimes I'll flip my hair over and just get some on the back side, run my fingers through, and then I kind of like to scrunch it in a little bit. All right, so the next product that I'm going to use is the um, Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz-Free Curling Mousse. I love using mousse on my hair. So I'm just, now if you notice, I used the whole Coconut and Hibiscus curl line to do my hair today. But I'm going to show you a couple of other products from Shea Moisture that I really like to use in my hair. I just realized I wasn't talking into camera there, but I'm trying to see what I'm doing. And again, I rake. And this time, this one I don't really do the praying hands with. I kind of just rake and scrunch with this one. So I'm raking it and I'm scrunching it. Now I noticed that these products, when I put them in my hair, they don't leave my hair super defined. Um, this is just for my hair. It might work differently for, for somebody else's hair. Um, but my hair, it doesn't leave it super defined, but it does give a nice soft um, wave, a nice soft curl. And, um, you know, my hair is, is pretty bouncy um, after I'm done styling it. Now, I definitely like to flip over my hair when I use mousse and scrunch it in to give me uh, a little bit more volume. All right. So now I'm going to go in with my little microfiber towel. And I'm just going to scrunch those products in. You can see that my hair is starting to really curl up when I'm scrunching and um, getting rid of that ex excess moisture. 
All right, so I'm all done scrunching my hair using my microfiber towel. Now, if I was in a rush, I probably would just walk out the door like this, um, you know, let it air dry. And I'll have some really pretty curls. Um, but today, I definitely want to get as much uh, curls as I possibly can. And I usually achieve that by diffusing my hair. Um, and it also gives me a lot more volume than, it, than if I just let it air dry. So I'm going to use my handy purple um, hair dryer here. It's nothing special, um, but I do love the Curly Co um, diffuser head. So um, this is great. I got it on Amazon. It was like $14.99 or something. Now I always dry my hair on medium heat and medium or low speed. I, you know, don't, I rarely use the high heat and then sometimes I switch it up and use the cold heat on medium speed. So, and like I showed you in uh, a previous video, how I uh, diffuse my hair is I'll just start from the bottom here, start from the bottom here and then kind of press it up and then I'll turn it on. Again, it's on medium speed, medium heat, and then I'll hold it in place, turn it down, and then I'll hold it in place and um, blow dry that section for about, I don't know, 15 seconds or so, and then I'll turn it off and move on to the next section. Uh, like I said in the previous video, it, that method is called pixie diffusing. I'm going to continue to diffuse my hair and when I come back it'll be completely dry. All right you guys so I'm all done blow drying my hair. Um, came out pretty good. Um, with the Shea Moisture products, the two that I use, it doesn't leave a really strong gel cast. Um, so, you know, when you dry it, your, your curls are already pretty soft. They're not super duper defined, but I do like the soft um, curls, the wavy look. I didn't 100% dry my hair because I'm kind of pressed for time right now. But um, overall, I really like the Shea Moisture products. I know they're really good for my hair and um, it gives a pretty look. I'm not a huge stickler on like perfectly defined curls right now because I know that my hair is still in transition and I do have a ways to go. Um, you know, I'm not too crazy about having like super duper defined curls at this point. Um, so, but, but this looks great to me. I will totally rock this hair. Um, and after I'm done styling my hair and drying it, I like to go back with the righteous root oils and rub a little bit and rub it in the palm of my hand and then I just like to fluff my hair up with it. It gives my hair a nice shine and a little bit more volume. I'll flip it over, massage my scalp a little bit and fluff it in. And that's it. That's how I use the um, Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl um, Enhancing Line. Um, and now I'm going to show you how I use a couple different Shea Moisture products on my 14 year old daughter's wavy hair. So keep watching. So this is my daughter Kaylee. Kaylee is 14 years old. Um, when Kaylee was younger, she had really curly hair. Um, as she got older and her hair got longer and heavier, she kind of lost those um, bouncy curls. Um, but she does have some waves going on here at the ends. So I'm going to use some of the Shea Moisture products to try to get uh, some of those um, waves to, to, really, to really pop. Um, her hair is, is very thick and very heavy. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, we're just going to try to get a little bit of waves into this, um, into this hair using some of the Shea Moisture. So Kaylee washed her hair with the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus um, conditioner that I washed my hair with. 
And so um, I'm just going to put a little bit of the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Styling Lotion. I really, I use this sometimes. Um, I like it because it's really light. I think that the, um, that the uh, curly, curl enhance smoothie is a little too heavy for her hair um, and I think in order to get some of those waves um, she's gonna need something a little bit lighter so I'm just gonna put about that much rub it between my hands and just work it through her hair now, Jamaican black castor oil is really good for um, hair growth it's also good to help repair damaged hair um, as well. So I'm just working that through her hair a little bit more and kind of scrunching that, you put your head back a little bit, scrunching that in her hair. A little bit about Kaylee. She actually has a YouTube channel herself with her and her friends. Um, so I'll put a link to that below so you can check that out. Um, Kaylee is also quite the artist. So she has an Instagram that has all her art on it. And she is very talented, but she's acting shy right now. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to put in her hair is the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil daily hydration gel. I do use this on my hair um, along with the curl cream that I just put on her hair. Um, and, and also these products are really light. They make your hair feel so soft and moisturized. And they're, they're just, I love Shea Moisture products. They're really nice. So I put a little bit of that in my hair and I'm just gonna, on my hair, a little bit of that on my hand and I'm just gonna rub it through. I'm gonna rake it through her hair and then use the praying hands method to work it through her hair. I don't know if you can see this, but Kaylee has green glitter in her hair because she was doing a TikTok video and yeah, she whatever. She was doing a TikTok and decided to pour green glitter on her hair. So I think it's funny. <laughs> if I do something, will, pro will you promise to keep it in the video? If you do what? What are you going to floss? <laughs> I don't get the whole flossing thing. I don't know. That's still a thing. All right, here, here. come on, come on. You see, you see what I do? You see what I do? So we just kind of smush our hair. Off. And now I'm gonna go back with the um, microfiber towel and scrunch up her hair a little bit. When I scrunch it up here, and she has some waves going, some little. Things happen in here that so we're gonna try to make that stand out a little bit more. I'm gonna have Kaylee flip her head over towards me. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the um, frizz free curl mousse that I use on my hair and I'm gonna put scrunch a little bit of this in her hair. See what I'm doing there? can already see her hair is starting to get some waves in it. She's getting almost as tall as me. <laughs> She's making me feel old. And I'm gonna go back in with the microfiber towel and scrunch it up. You see that green glitter is just all over the place. I didn't mean to do this much. You... You poured that much... I didn't mean to. I only meant to do a little bit. There's glitter all in our bathtub and on our floor. So, but it's okay. We still love you. On camera. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Okay, well, she, she's get she's getting out of the the um out of the camera here. Now I'm gonna diffuse Kaylee's hair for a little bit, and when I come back, we'll see what kind of wave she has going on her hair. See, you guys, I partially blow dried Kaylee's hair. You can see she has some cute little waves here. Um, she has like the beachy waves going on on the bottom, 
Um, it looks really cute. We're just gonna let the rest air dry. But um, her hair didn't have really much wave to it at all until we put the Shea Moisture products in it. Um, but it's cute. She can put some of it up, some of it down, pull some of the little curls, the little waves in the front. And um, this is super pretty. <laughs> All right, this is my daughter, Kenna. Kenna is only two years old, so I don't feel comfortable showing her face on the camera. But uh, as you can see, she has really curly hair. Um, I washed her hair using the Mango and Carrot Kids Shampoo from Shea Moisture. It smells really good. It's I, I love it. I sometimes put this on my hair just for the smell. So uh, conditioner hair with the Mango and Carrot Kids Extra Nourishing Conditioner. This stuff really defines her curls and makes it her hair really soft and bouncy and um, it, it, you can definitely tell the difference um, using these products versus washing our hair with like a regular um, baby shampoo. This stuff works way better and it's definitely better for her curls. So after I wash her hair, I also use a microfiber towel to scrunch the wetness out of her hair. And then I use the... Coconut and Hibiscus Kids Extra Moisturizing Detangler. This also smells really good. It smells like marshmallows. And I just spray it. Her hair is short, so it doesn't really get tangled. Um, but this also helps to define her curls. Sometimes I use just this um, to refresh her hair um, when it's dry. Um, and it moisturizes her hair and defines her curls even when it's dry. Kids have the best hair. Let's look at these curls. They're so cute. And after I spray her hair with that, I use the Coconut and Hibiscus Kids Curling Buttercream. And a little of this goes a long way. You don't have to put too much, especially since she has really um, short hair. And just a little bit like that. And I rub it between my hands and just finger comb it through her hair. Just work that throughout her whole head. Just work that through her hair. And her the curls just bounce right up when I put that uh, curl cream in her hair. I don't her hair dries pretty quickly, so I don't like to um, I don't like to diffuse it. I don't use any heat on her hair at all, and I just let it air dry. So I'll come back in a little bit and show you what her hair looks like complete completely dry after using all the kids Shea Moisture products. There's Kenna's pretty curls. I love those curls. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel. Make sure you guys check me out on Instagram at curly underscore mellow um, and I'm going to show you a picture of me and my girls all together um, with our curly and wavy hair courtesy of the Shea Moisture products. Happy Mother's Day guys. Take care.